We've brought the, the current Camorgan playing squad down to Angela Gray's cooking school here at uh, Lanark Video. And um, yeah, something different for the boys, some, some personal development that we like to get into the players around the country through the PCA's development program. Um, I'm not sure the guys knew it was coming, but they've come down a little bit apprehensive, a little bit nervous, and they've, they've got absolutely stuck in and uh, are enthused by uh, some new cooking skills. I opened the cookery school here four years ago at Planet Vineyard, and um, it's been a bit of a white knuckle ride since, and we've grown into a very, very busy school. We're, we're in the top ten in the UK, uh, as voted by the Independent and Telegraph, so we do good things. We must be doing something right. We do everything from knife skills, and we take people around the world. Everything from Taste of France, Italy, Morocco, and Indian. And I have to say that in Wales, the Welsh love their spice. So anything with spice in it, curries, Lebanese, Moroccan. I looked at the menu. Um, I have to say a lot of it ticked the box for me personally, but uh, yeah, a variety of dishes. They've, they've linked in with um, Tommy Turner, the club's S&C coach, really to, to, to get some dishes in that are healthy, the right calories for them, um, fit into what the club are trying to you know, teach them about you know, good, healthy eating and living. And uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's some new dishes they probably haven't come across. Me and Rory have had a seafood masala, so plenty of chilies, um, nice and hot as well, with a, with a chutney on the side as well. I think there's some life skills for some of the younger players who are now probably just starting to live for the first time on their own at university or in their first sort of flat or house. And then there's a combination of senior players who probably do know how to cook a little bit, of them learning some new skills and educating the younger players. So really it's, it's a blend of, of everything that we, we think will serve the players well for life and as professional cookers. And how have the boys found it generally? Good, yeah, I think we've picked up some good skills, uh, just ideas and different foods to use what have you. Um, also some pretty handy knife skills which could be interesting. Yeah. Homemade butternut squash soup with uh, finished with a bit of remoulade, a spooner, and um, focaccia bread. Home baked. The guys have been brilliant, so they have risen to the challenge. There have been some really, really funny moments, like chopping up an onion. Before I could get there, the onion was already chopped up with the skin on it. I mean, that was hilarious. There was a bit of picking out to do there. I think Wally's, Wally's skills are pretty limited, to be fair, but he's trying hard to make them. But other than that, I think, you know, it's just when people are shown a simple task, it's just like, why didn't I think of that? And you know when they leave here, they'll remember that, and they'll be doing it like that for the rest of their lives. Around the country, there's a variety of educational workshops going on from um, computer skills to public speaking to media training to cooking. Um, really, you know, we go with the lead of what the club think will work for them and, and what we can fit in within our budgets. But, um, you know, it's all sort of add on holistic support for the players. Oh.